lives on Earth. By day, visitors come to see the treasures within, but by night, it's a different story. Children approaching. They're here. Welcome to the British Museum. You are about to begin an incredible journey through the darkened galleries of this great building. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm Agatha, your tour guide. I'm much like the tour guides you see around during the day, except I'm utterly dead. And it's unfortunate, I know, but it can't be helped. Now, I'm looking for some brave children to become guardians of the museum. What are your names? Kesley. Robert. Ramin. Well, you're probably wondering why you've been summoned here in the middle of the night. Listen carefully. You have just one night to discover the secrets and mysteries of a relic held deep within these walls. You will face three challenges. Each challenge will unlock a vision about your relic. Pass a challenge, and you will all see the vision. Fail and the vision will be revealed to just one of you, and you will have only their memory to rely on. Your knowledge of the three visions will be tested in the final battle when you come face to face with the Dark Lord. Succeed, and you will become guardians of the museum and receive the Golden Scarab. Fail, and you will become relics yourselves and part of the museum forever. Agatha! Did you hear that? That's the Dark Lord. He knows you're here, and he'll be sending his dark forces to seek you out. We're not safe here anymore. On to your first challenge. Follow me, chat. My dark forces will find you all. So keep on running, Agatha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. Let's catch our breath here for a bit, but stay alert for those dark forces. You never know where they might be. Now, to discover the identity of your relic, you must first unlock a vision. And to do that, you must complete a challenge. Now, to get there, you must follow my instructions. So, hold on nice and tight, chaps. Come along, come along. Quick, 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 tight. We haven't got much time. Right, are you ready? Yes! yes. Jolly good. You're going to love this. Off we go. Oh, goodness me. Oh, have any of you ever time travelled before? No. It's jolly good fun, isn't it? I think you're going to be naturals at it. Right, now, where are we? Well, we're certainly in India. I think it's the 17th century. Oh, this must be the Mughal Palace. That must be the Princess Jahanara. Now, she's been imprisoned by her younger brother, and your first challenge is to free her. Under her window, there are three locks. Now, those three locks can be opened by three of these eight keys. You must take a key one at a time and cross this rather rickety-looking bridge and try the key in all three locks. Now, you must have all three locks unlocked at the end of 90 seconds in order to pass. Now, if you pass, all three of you can see the vision. Now, if you don't pass, I'm afraid only one of you can see the vision. Do you think you can do this, chaps? Yes! Jolly good show. Who's going to go first? Me. You're going to go first, but you can go in three, two, one, go! Can't rub it. Rub it, rub it. It's gone for the red key. Should we have key or T, one, chaps? Lucky on your first go. Who's going next? Careful, quickly, quickly, you haven't got much time. Off you go, Ramin. Go, oh, Ramin, yeah. Which way? You've gone for the pink key, okay. Oh, help me, please. Okay. Any luck? You must try all three locks. Any of them working? No. Nope. No. 60 seconds left, team. Come on, chop, chop. Back, back you come. Which one are you going to go for? Quickly, Ketsley, as fast as you can, but watch out for the snakes. Come on, Ketsley. Ketsley. Any joy? Please let it be the right key. Oh, oh dear, it's not working. Quick, back. Back as quick as you can. Oh, back, one quick, back. Quick, 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 quick. Are you ready? Off you go. I don't like them for those snakes. That's 30 seconds left. You really need to get a move on. Looks like the wrong key. Leave it and come back. You haven't got much time. It must be one of these that are left. OK, we've got one down. We're looking for two more. Come on, Ramin. Ten seconds to go. Let's hope. 
hope this key's a good one. Give it a little pull. Is it stuck? Oh dear, this could cost you. Quick as you can, back you come, quickly, quickly. <laughs> oh, no, time's up. Oh, team, how disappointing. Well, you managed to open one of the locks. Sorry, princess. Now, I'm afraid you know what that means. Only one of us can see the vision. Only one of you can see the vision. Which isn't the end of the world. So, who's it going to be? You have to decide as a team. Yeah, the best. Rob, you're going to see the vision? see the vision? Okay, in which case, Robert, you can stand just here. You two, I'm going to send you back to the museum. Kesley, Ramin, yeah. hold on to the torch. I will be back to the museum very shortly. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. I'll know if you have. Right. Oh, where are we? Oh, the dark forces might be here right now. Now, Robert. It's just me and you. You've got your memory hat on. Now, you're going to need that because you've got to remember everything that you see to give your team the best chance of defeating the Dark Lord. Now, to unlock the vision, we have to stand in a special formation. I need you there. You need to put our ankles together and you're going to hold on to my torch and you simply do as I say. You ready? Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. The vision begins. Where are we? I recognize this place. Ancient Egypt. A name. They're chanting the name of a pharaoh. Ramesses. A great ruler of Egypt. I sense he wanted to be remembered forever. He ordered his image to be carved in stone. His legend lives on, even in death. It stands for all to see. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Oh, goodness me. So, that was the first vision. And only you saw it, Robert. Your entire team is relying on you. Wait, wait. Where is your team? Chaps? We're here, we're here. Quick, 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 quick. Right, Robert, tell them everything you remember. Well, there's this prince called Ramesan, Ramesan, and he's an um, Egypt pharaoh. And he wanted to um, carve himself like a model. Ah, so maybe that model is the relic you have to find out about. And what was his name again? Ramesan. Uh, well, I think you might have to listen a little more carefully. I'm not sure if Ramesan is 100% right. OK, chaps? Yep. Jolly good, because remember, Knowledge is everything when it comes to fighting the Dark Lord. And... <gasps> Did you hear that? Yes. That's the Dark Forces. They'll be on their way. We're not safe here any longer. Come along, follow me. Yes, keep running into my trap. Quick, quick, quick. Hide, hide, hide. There's the Dark Force. Did you see him? Check and see if he's still there. Get them. Don't let them escape! Oh, goodness me. I think we're all clear. That was a bit close, wasn't it? Yeah. Can you see them anywhere? No, I can't see them. I can't see them. Right. Well, well, I think we're all right, but just keep your eyes peeled, OK? Now, this beautiful object once contained a bell, said to have the power of healing, and anyone who drank water from it was said to be cured of all their illnesses. Now, to learn more about your relic, you must complete another challenge. And in this challenge, you're going to be curing illnesses in a very different way. Hold on nice and tight, chaps. Let's get out of here. Off we go. Oh, oh goodness me. <laughs> yes, I think it's definitely medieval England. Why me? Yes, I think this is a doctor's surgery, although unlike any doctor's surgery we may have been in before, now the doctor is away tending to a patient, which means it's your challenge to cure these five patients who've all been diagnosed with the pox. Now, it says here here that the pox can be cured with five leeches on average. Leeches just like these. Okay? They're horrible, aren't they? So all you have to do is look at how ill the patient is and decide the correct amount of leeches to prescribe. 
Yes? If you get it right, we can move on to the next patient. If you get it wrong, then I'm afraid each one of you has to eat one of these beautiful leeches. <laughs> OK? So, best get it right. Now, you should only take leeches if you are accompanied by a dead tour guide, such as myself. Yes. So, the average number of leeches is five. Now, do you think this fellow needs a higher or lower number than five? You can't go any higher than ten. That's the maximum. Lower. Lower. Lower yeah. than five, yeah. you think? Yeah. Higher or lower than five? You say... Lower! lower. Our doctor said... <laughs> oh, dear, team. <laughs> that means you each get a leech. There we go. Stick your fingers in there. Now, they're very nutritious. I've, uh, I've eaten one myself. We can all eat it together. One for you, Kesley. There we go. OK, and pop it in your mouths. Really chew it. Chew, chew, chew. <laughs> Oh, spitting bowl. <laughs> Goodness me. OK, so that was that was seven leeches. That's one wrong. Now, our next patient, she stinks. Now, does Matilda need a higher or lower number of leeches than seven? Take a good look at her. She doesn't look as sick as that. I think lower. Can she? Lower. Yeah. Higher or lower than seven, you say? Lower. Our doctor said? Very well yes. done, team. Jolly good. <laughs> OK, so this is our next patient. This is poor Roderick. So do we think Roderick needs a higher or lower number of leeches than three? What do you higher. think? Higher. Higher. Higher? Why are you thinking that? Because he's sicker than that lady. And, and three is a low number. Than... Let's see. So higher or lower than three? You say higher. Our doctor said? Oh, oh that's very bad <laughs> luck, team. You have to take one of these each. Right. Pull it out. There we go. Don't worry if you get two. You can have two. Put them in your mouth. Uh, chewing, chewing, chewing. Mmm, mmm, mm, mm. mm. Give it a little chew. Ramin, give it a little chew. Uh, there we go. Jolly good. OK, so that's two wrong and one right. Now, if you get one more wrong, you'll fail. This is Mad Mary, as mad as a box of frogs. So do you think she needs a higher or lower number of leeches than two? Higher or lower than two? Higher. Two is a very low number. Though. Yeah, but it's like four, but three as well. Just higher, yeah. Higher. We really want this one to be right. So, higher or lower than two? You say... Higher. Our doctor said... Yes! yes! Well done, team! Jolly good! OK, so that's two wrong and two right. It all rests on this last patient. How many leeches? No, she go higher. Higher or lower? Remember, you can't go higher than ten. Higher. Yeah. This is it, chaps. If you get this right, you pass. So, higher or lower than six leeches? You say higher. Our doctor said. Yes! 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 Well done, yes! team. Yes! That's three right. Which, which means you've passed. Now, to unlock the vision, we have to get into a special position. So, you come round this side, put your ankles together, standing up nice and straight, and I will say a rhyme, you simply do as I say. So, secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes and see. The vision begins. We're still in Egypt at the ancient city of Thebes. Time has passed. I see the ruined figure of a pharaoh. Ramesses lies broken. Egypt is being invaded, but by whom? A powerful country. A date. I see a famous emperor, Napoleon. He wants the statue for the glory of France. They're trying to move it, but they can't. It's impossible. It's too heavy. The statue remains undisturbed, but damaged by the French invaders. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Goodness me. So, you've all seen the second vision. What do you remember? Well, there was the Red Man called Ramesses, and there was his um, statue, I think. And then he was, um, there was also a person called Napoleon. Yeah, the 
French person. The French. What did you say the pharaoh's name was? Ramesses. Ramesses. Okay, so his name is Ramesses. That's changed. Jolly good. Yes. I think that's right. Now, were there any dates that you 1798. remember? 1798. 1798. Yes. And did anything happen to the statue? Maybe yes. a mark in the middle. So it was damaged. Do you remember the name of the city? Thebes. Now, keep that knowledge in your noggins, please. It will come in very useful when it comes to defeating the Dark Lord. Remember, you must answer three of his questions correctly to receive the Golden Scarab and become guardians of the museum. Fail, and you will belong to him forever. Now, I don't think we're safe here any longer. We have to keep moving. Following on. So, all three of you have seen the vision, but will you remember everything? My dark forces are watching you. <laughs> right. Now, we should be safe here for a while, but keep a lookout for those dark forces, OK? Now, who do you think this fellow is? Julius Caesar. Yes, it probably is Julius Caesar. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, the poor fellow's lost half his head. He was very careless of him, wasn't it? Now, for your final challenge, it's very important that none of you lose your heads. Come along. Hold on nice and tight. Tighter than that, I don't want to lose any of you. Are you ready? Yes. Jolly good, let's go. Oh, oh that was a very good landing. I'm proud of myself. Oh, we're in Rome. Have any of you three ever been to... <gasps> we're mean. I'm over here. What's over here. Over here. What? Over here. What? Yeah. Before, you're over there. I told you to hold on tight, didn't I? Yeah. Right, yeah. let's get you out. Where are the prisoners? Oh, no. That sounds like General Glutus Maximus. You're in trouble now. Look, I I'll keep an eye on you, but just do as he says and don't anger him, whatever you do. Okay. Now, please! Where's prisoners? I'm gonna cut off your eight! No, no, please. Oh, please don't hurt Oh, what? We can play a little game. Yeah, the game's all right. I game. I'll tell you what, i have got to give each of you a statement about ancient Rome. All you've got to do as a team, you decide if that statement is true or false. Get three answers correct, and guess what? I set you all free! However, get an answer wrong, and you will have to be punished. Get three answers wrong, and guess what I'm going to do? Cut off your head! <laughs> all right. Can we get on with it then? First statement. The Romans used urine to make toothpaste. True or false? True. Have a little chat amongst yourselves, think about it. I read in a book once, I think it's true. It's not true. true. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Yeah, true. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I read it, you read a book? Yeah. You can't read. Anyway, so what are you going for? True or false? True. You're saying true? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what it is? It's not correct! Well done, you got it right! But you're all clever, do you? But you're all cocky and clever? Yes. Let's see how you do with this one. Next statement. Wounded soldiers use spider's webs to help heal the wounds. Is it true or is it false? False. Have a little think about it. Don't rush yourselves. Think false. Yeah, yeah false. I mean it's false. It's false. What? False. False. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Well, guess what? You're wrong. You idiots. <laughs> now, for the punishments. Do you know what this is? It's collected from the sewage. There's a nice little spot right by the latrine where I get it from every day. Smell that, have a whiff. Go on. Do you want some? You can have some. There you go. You got it wrong at all, didn't you? You can have some. There you go. Right in the fizzle. What about you on the end? I think there's a little bit of sick in this bit. Do you want that? Of course you do. <laughs> OK, good at this. Next statement. Roman soldiers were very often as young as nine years old. Robert. True or false? Robert. What do you reckon? True. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven? Are you old enough to be a soldier? I don't know. You don't know. What about you? Oh, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'd be a better soldier than you. Would ya? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're tied up, so let's hear it. Talk about it. True or false? True. 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 Is that your final answer? Yes, sir. Well, I can tell ya, it's false. Right, who's that first? Bit of lovely slot. Me. Bit of suey. Oh, you are all right. Eager. Eager beaver. Do you want it? 
There you go, you got it. You happy now? Getting good at this. Right, who's up next? Is it you or is it you? Oh, it'll be you. Did you say you wanted some or not? I wanted some. Oh, you did? <laughs> Jolly good. So, that's two wrong and one right. Get one more wrong and I'll cut off your head. Right, next statement. Lettuce was served at the end of an evening meal because the Romans thought that it sent you off to sleep. Is it true or is it false? False. 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 Don't dribble in my prison. <laughs> right, can I have your final answer, please, gentlemen? False. The statement is, in fact, true. So, you know what's going to happen now? <laughs> I ain't even going to bother with a slop. I am just going to cut off your eggs. <laughs> Goodness me, looks like I saved you just in time. Right, let's get you out of there. The general's such a brute, you really shouldn't throw slop in people's faces. Right, chaps, quick, we haven't got much time. I'm afraid that means you failed the challenge. Now, that means only one of you can see the vision. Now, you have to decide as a team who that's going to be. Me. Right, chaps, come along over here. I'm going to send you back to the museum. Now, when you get back there, be careful of the dark forces. Yeah. I'll be back soon. Hold on. Did you hear that? <sighs> right, Ramin, it's just you and me. You best do this quickly before he unfreezes. Right, hold on tight, just follow my rhyme. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes and see. The vision begins. Egypt, it's the 19th century. The English now wish to claim the statue for themselves. Belzoni. We need your expertise to recover the bust and send it to London. They've hired an Italian explorer. Weighing seven tons, 130 men are needed to move the bust of Ramesses across the desert to the banks of the Nile. I sense this is its final journey. Along the river, across the ocean, to where it now remains. Here, at the British Museum, for all to see. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Oh, goodness me. OK, mm. so that is the third and final vision. Yes. Right, do you think you remember everything? Yeah. Your entire team is relying on you, Ramin. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Jolly good, there you go, Robert. Kesley, now, tell them everything that you remember. Well, the English now want the bus to Ramsey, which is the top half of him. They have sent Italian explorer, Balzoni, to go on and capture it and bring it to the river banks of the Nile to take it back to England. I think this is going to be its last journey there. Mm -hmm. I think they need 130 men to pull the bust Ramesses all the way to the banks. Now, Ramin said something very interesting, because it's just the top half of the statue now, because remember it was, it was damaged. Now, when we talk about the top half of the statue, we tend to call it a bust, so it's called Bust of Ramesses now. Maybe that's the relic that you're after. So you've seen all three visions now, so you'll have to remember it. Remember, knowledge is your weapon against the Dark Lord. Speaking of whom, we must now make our final journey to face him. I can sense the dark forces. They're descending on the great court. Follow me, chaps, this way. Now, it's time to face me. Right, this is it. This is your final battle. Good luck. I just have to summon the Dark Lord. The moon shines bright and darkness reigns. I bring three children here again. Their minds are sharp, the visions seen. Dark Lord, awake. We challenge thee. <laughs> You dare to bring before me three sleepy boys? They'll never win. Actually, I think you may well have met your match this time. Silence! You really think they have the knowledge to defeat me? Yes! Yes! We shall see. Three visions you have seen about a relic held within these walls. 
I shall ask you questions about what you have seen. Three correct answers will earn your freedom, and you will become guardians of the museum. Three incorrect answers, and you shall never leave. You will become relics yourselves, and remain here for all time. Your first question. Kesley, approach. of Ramesses was found. Egypt. Let us see. We are the ancient city of Thebes. It was Thebes. Egypt was the country. Now your teammate belongs to me. <laughs> You've lost Kesley on the first go. Don't worry, you can still win this, chaps. Prepare for your next question. Robert, step forward. What was the name of the man hired by the British to move the bust of Ramesses? Benzola. Let us see. Belzoni, we need your expertise to recover the bust and send it to London. It was Belzoni, not Benzola. <laughs> I don't believe it. Robert's gone too. I think you can still do this. Let's see what the Dark Lord has to say now. Remain. Step forward. You need three correct answers to become guardians of the museum and save your team. Get one wrong, and you belong to me. Next question. How many men did it take to move the bust of Ramesses? 130. Let us see. 130 men are needed to move the bust of Ramesses. Yes. You still need two more to win, child. Next question. What year did Napoleon's men fail to move the statue? 1789. Let us see. It was 1798. You have been defeated, and now you join your friends. You shall never leave. You belong to me forever. <laughs> Agatha, you have failed, and my darkness reigns supreme. I shall return. More children will come. And I will be waiting. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe the Dark Lord won! They were so close! I need more children to fight him. We can defeat him, chaps. Until next time, following on. Do you have what it takes to become a guardian of the museum? Play the relic game and find out. Watch for clues and answer the quizzes correctly to return all the lost relics to the museum and print off your very own certificate. Go to the CBC website now! So watch Big Babies, the brand new show on CBBC. Getting ready, da 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 da, on the DVD. CBBC! Oh, that show looks amazing. It looked rubbish, Rocco. It's just two babies sat watching telly. It'll never take off. Chill out. It's doomed to fail. <laughs> it's an embarrassment to the channel. CBBC should be ashamed of themselves. Brand new Big Baby starts Monday at 5.45 on the CBBC channel. So you're not going to watch it, then? I will if I've calmed down enough. Catch some wild and woolly fun with Sean the Sheep over on the CBBC channel now, and then it's new high karate. Journey to Japan. Thank <laughs> you.